our police officers across the county, and so our multi-purpose room over at headquarters was filled with turkey and ham, so um, I appreciate your willingness to come over here. Uh, my name is Jennifer Donnell, and I'm the director of the Media Relations Division at Prince George's County Police. Our agency has begun an investigation into an incident that occurred this morning at a Prince George's County public school. So joining me, and uh, who will be presenting information to you uh, this afternoon, is Chief Hank Stawinski. He will be followed by our County Executive, Angela Alsobrooks, who will then be followed by Dr. Monica Golson who is the CEO of Prince George's County Public Schools. Chief? Thank you, Jennifer, and good afternoon. This morning at 1023 at Largo High School, there was a fight between a teacher and a student. I want to be very clear about the sequence of events. There is physical contact between the student and the teacher prior to this fight erupting. That is all captured on a video, and we understand that our community, many of you have seen this video, and we certainly understand that it is very, very disturbing. Subsequent to that physical contact between the student and the teacher, the teacher then engages in a physical assault of that student. The nature of that assault was extraordinarily violent, and that conduct is criminal in nature. That teacher was arrested by members of our Criminal Investigation Division and we anticipate placing charges for physical child abuse and second degree assault in the wake of those events. Now, I also want to caution our community because you have seen a video, but no video captures the entirety of a set of circumstances. The entire set of circumstances is currently under investigation. Members of our criminal investigation right now, division right now, are interviewing approximately 30 students who are witnesses to these events as well as eight administrators within the school also witnesses to this event. I want to commend school security services for their quick action in separating the parties and then notifying the police. We arrived subsequent and launched the criminal investigation of which I speak. We have spoken with our state's attorney's office with respect to this matter and we anticipate further conversations with the Department of Juvenile Services with regard again to the totality of these circumstances. What I am telling you is what we see as very concerning. We know you will see as very concerning and the point of my remarks today is to address what is apparent on the video. But I am always, always asking my community to allow us to conduct a thorough investigation to arrive at conclusions about the totality of these circumstances and come back to you with additional information regarding the other circumstances that I alluded to earlier, again, in conjunction with our state's attorney's office and the Department of Juvenile Services. With that, it is my absolute privilege to introduce to you our county executive, Angela Alsbrook. So what, what we can say about today is that everything about this particular incident was completely unacceptable. Um, I had a chance to review the video, and I understand that this is still under investigation, as the chief has indicated. Uh, but anyone who views this video will agree that it makes you feel absolutely irate um, to see what transpired in this classroom. And so what I can say is it was reprehensible. Um, it is under investigation, but I am uh, fully confident in the chief and uh, our school CEO that we will handle this matter. And what the public should know is that we will not tolerate under any circumstance violence on the part of any person in our school system. Um, and so this was deeply disturbing, um, but we will address it for sure, uh, and we will ensure that this does not continue to happen in our classrooms. Thank you. Good evening. I want to first thank our school security staff who immediately um, got to the classroom and on the scene and our Prince George's County Police Department who were quickly there to respond. I am extremely disappointed by the horrific actions that took place in our classroom today. Um, it's important to know that we have set high expectations and standards for our staff and students and what you saw on that video does not represent the hard work that over 10,000 teachers do every single day. I ask that our community not rush to judgment so quickly on one staff member and one student. But let me be extremely clear that any inappropriate or criminal contact with our student will require and will result in a consequence. 
And so we just ask for your patience as we continue the investigation. And thank you for today. Questions? What sparked the incident? Can you talk about that a little bit? So here again, I will come back to my prior comments. We are only a few hours into this. We need to understand from all of those individuals who are currently being interviewed the complete context of these circumstances. And again, what Dr. Golson was most emphatic about, what certainly our county executive was most emphatic about, was addressing what is apparent on that video. But as always, the community can rely on us to come forward when we ascertain what lies behind all of this and provide that information. But right now, as we speak, there are 40 people being interviewed by our detectives to get those very answers. Derek? Do we know what grade uh, this was, these uh, students were? Yes, that student is a senior. Senior, and is this a regular teacher or a substitute? That's a regular classroom teacher. Are we, ident like, we identified her? Identified? We are not. What are some questions? Let me get somebody sure. else and we'll get there. Go ahead. Can you talk about the, the history of this teacher, what's known, what background checks were done on her? We were told by the students that she may have been new to the school. Yes, yeah, so the teacher is in their mid-30s. She's in her mid-30s, and this she's completing a full year, but this is a second school year. Um, we brought her on board November of 2018. Yes, this was a core content class, meaning um, our main subjects, English, Math, Science, Social Studies. Core content, which is English, Math, Science, Social Studies. No, she was one of those. I don't have the exact content area. Uh, Chief, when will you be ready to identify her? Well, she is currently being interrogated. Obviously, you understand that there are charges to be placed, and we'll handle this in accord with we'll handle this in accord with our practices with respect to all of these things. And again, I will emphasize we are early in this investigation. As all of that becomes available, certainly you can rely on Jennifer to provide it. And you mentioned uh, juvenile getting involved. Uh, is it possible the student will face charges as well? Certainly, we are looking at every aspect of this. I did say in my initial remarks that there was contact between the student and the teacher. So we are investigating. We are gathering those statements, and we are looking at these videos, and we will be contacting the Department of Juvenile Services. I personally have already spoken to our state's attorney about this matter. Another question? Go ahead. Is the student a male or a female, and how old is that person? She's a female, 17. Question up front. Um, can you explain a little bit of like, Fargo High School and its history? How often has police been called in to address those situations, not just teacher-student related, but any kind of situation? Well, let me be clear about something. There's nothing extraordinary about Largo High School. We have responded to calls for service there uh, infrequently because we have a school resource officer there. That school resource officer addresses a number of, of low order issues, but in terms of extraordinary events such as this, it happens very infrequently. Other questions? Yep. Well, we had talked to some parents at the school earlier today. We didn't hear about this yet, but they were concerned about the firearm incident that happened at the school before. Can you talk about that issue? Did the officers prevent something serious from happening at this school? So we had an incident yesterday where some students um, shared with a trusted adult that they believed a student had a firearm. Our school resource officer who's on site was able to get um, get that student, um, recover the weapon, and then um, make sure we contact the police for next steps. Is it known whether there were any threats? At this time, our investigation has revealed there was none. What, what type of gun did they bring on campus yesterday? It was a, a semi-automatic handgun, but it was associated with a completely different set of circumstances. And again, this is where school security and the police department work constantly. Deputy Chief Harvin, I think, is with us. We respond to each of every threat that we have within our schools. We fully investigate them in conjunction with the school system, and then we take measure to prevent those things from occurring in the future. So again, yesterday's event and this event, to be very clear, have nothing to do with one another. What, question? what is the school policy regarding, I, I know you said that it's uh, unacceptable, this kind of you know, violence or this sort of thing, but is there a policy that spells out protocols and procedures? Should there be some sort of Yes, there are protocols and required strategies that we utilize with our staff and our students. We review those strategies at the beginning of every school year, um, and in every classroom there's an emergency button, which is why our security was able to respond so quickly. Yes, 
So in terms of strategies, one, they're part of de-escalation strategies and conversations with our students. Um, as I shared in the previous situation, um, many times our students do rely on our teachers of being their trusted adults that they can go to and confide in. Um, we're still doing the preliminary investigation to fully understand what took place in this situation. So let me be clear, we've only had two incidents. Um, and I've been very clear that any time an adult has had an inappropriate interaction or criminal interaction with any student, we're going to handle it appropriately and take the appropriate administrative steps. Our students, I represent 136,000 students and their parents send them to me every day to be safe and secure. And it is my expectation that when they deliver them to me, they will be, and when I send them home, they will be. Address one thing uh, because you've asked there have been a couple of questions about today's incident about yesterday's and the reason that we're here and we're here with the chief of police is because we regard this as a very serious situation uh, whether it's one incident or just two for the whole school year what we want everyone to understand is that it is entirely unacceptable violence in any form will not be tolerated and that's the reason that you don't just see myself and dr. Golson but you see the chief of police here is because we also want to send the right message is that we will do everything we have to to make sure that our schools are safe and secure that our classrooms are places where uh, teaching and learning happens and that's why I'm saying this incident made me absolutely irate and I'm sure that anyone watching it will feel the same way because this is not, uh, it is first of all not representative of the teachers uh, who teach in our school system, but it's also not what we condone what happens in classrooms. This, so this is a very serious situation. We take it that way, uh, but it is not to send the signal that somehow there is some, uh, some you know, systemic issue in this way, but just to say one, one situation or two doesn't matter all if it's unacceptable and we, we will not uh, tolerate it. Okay, thank you everybody. If you have additional questions. Was anyone injured or anybody seeking any kind of medical attention? The student did not require medical attention, nor did the teacher at uh, this morning. Um, the incident happened around 10.22. Um, we were on scene within 30 minutes of that. Within minutes, moments, we had school security on scene. Our SRO was on scene. Um, this was all addressed very, very quickly. The investigation is in full swing. It's been in swing now for um, several hours and will continue. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we got out in front of our community and explained what was going on and what steps we're taking um, to assure that this doesn't happen again and to make sure that we get down to the bottom of what exactly occurred inside that classroom. So everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Um, and so we thank you. If you have additional questions, we'll talk to you right afterwards, okay? Okay, thank you all so much. Thanks, everybody. Anybody have anything you need? Uh, sorry, I'm in front of you. You're good? Hi, yes. Sorry, I'm Do you need Spanish?